about this weather because obviously the last few hours or so we've been tracking a lot of these storms rolling through. Fortunately, the radar is actually looking pretty good for most of the Metroplex at this point. Yeah, it's looking a lot nicer. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's great news considering that a lot of you are kickstarting your weekend. You know what we're looking at is clearing now anywhere along and west of I-35. It is looking quite a bit drier, but we are still looking at activity. Just a few scattered showers in eastern Dallas County portions of Rockwall County and Eastern uh, Collin County as well. Hunt County seeing some activity. A few storms are starting up now along uh, I-45 in Navarro County and we'll continue to see this activity push to the east into a more unstable area and that's where we're going to see the severe weather threat ramp up again and this will be now in East Texas. You see that clearing there. You see those temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. That air is a bit more unstable. So these storms are going to actually enhance themselves as they move into East Texas. But for us, we're looking at cooler air pushing in behind these storms. You can see the 50s and 60s there and you can also see that clearing out the cloud cover starting to clear. That's the drier air pushing in. We're going to notice that these storms push into portions of Arkansas, Louisiana after three this afternoon, and that's where the severe weather is going to really enhance itself. A slight risk for East Texas, but more so across Louisiana, Arkansas and Mississippi mid to late afternoon, unfortunately. But for us, we're actually looking a lot drier. I was going to show you this really cool image of our Cedar Hill camera because there were two layers of cloud cover in here, but now cloud cover has overtaken the entire area. This is actually a camera that's elevated, so it's in the clouds. Um, this is more so what it looks like out there that we're looking at cloud cover across uh, Dallas Some breaks in the clouds already. Temperature of 69 degrees right now at DFW Airport. We make it to about 70 degrees at noon, mid 70s this afternoon as that cloud cover clears. We're going to see some sunshine today. I'm very excited about that. Winds will be out of the north and west at 15, 25 miles per hour. That's what's bringing in the drier air, so it'll feel less humid today and tomorrow and dry today and tomorrow. I just took you through Saturday, but I want to show you the return of some storms though, because uh, we are going to be tracking this form front on Sunday. So a few of our southeastern counties could still see some shower, maybe isolated thunderstorm activity Sunday afternoon, but most of us will stay dry. And then on Monday, our next front moves in. This will be late Sunday into Monday. We could see a few scattered showers along that front. Coverage will only be at about a 10%. This front will not do too much to our temperatures. This weekend, we go from the mid 70s, low 70s Monday, 60s on Tuesday, but we ramp back up with rain chances returning Thursday night into Friday. Next full week, Weekend uh, of April, next first weekend of April, I should say, looking dry with highs in the 70s.